Welcome to Long Time No Play Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. I think it's been about 20 years since I last played this. I did play 1, 2, I think I also played 3 on the Game Boy. I don't know about 4 or 5. But I definitely played this one. And so let's get started here. And for the Game Boy games, they only have 4 robot masters you gotta deal with, I guess. To the best of my memory. So the first one, obviously, I'm going to pick Metal Man. As Skip would tell me, start with Metal Man. And obviously, the Game Boy version, uh, you saw the year it came out, 92. So four years after the NES version, it fell already. We got, I got to listen to Skip. Watch out for the spikes. So right after, uh, not right after, um, four years after the NES version came out, Mega Man 2 comes out for the Game Boy. So, and obviously, oh, well, that was close. So obviously it's not going to have the same awesome soundtrack. They, they should have at least tried for Game Boy. I mean, I don't know why they had the, the soundtrack in this game is not nearly as good as in the NES Mega Man games. And, whoa, apologize for the scrambling sound. I guess computer problems right there with the audio. And I know it's Game Boy's 4-bit, but I mean, you still have awesome tunes. A 4-bit rendition of the NES soundtrack would have been freaking ECW. All right, so I got to watch out for these metal... Uh, Whatever the things they are that drop on your head. Ah, freaking drills. Alright, so here's the drill. I gotta get through this level here. And without getting killed by these drills. And no, Drill Man is not in this game. These should have been in Drill Man's stage right here. Made more sense, but anyway. Freaking clowns on wheels again. What the? Hey, man. Is it just me or the NES version takes less hits to kill these guys? Alright, the hard hats or the me tools. They are tools, the way they try to kill you. Ah. Oh, go up the ladder. forget about that. Come on! How many hits does it take to kill those wheels? Kill the wheels. Destroy the wheels. Those guys look like they could be in Clown Man stage rather than Metal Man stage. So I played this game, I think, four years after it came out friend of mine had it and I was like oh cool let me try these Mega Man games out for Game Boy and they're okay all right here's that Spinner 22 set of all back and S2K review Dr. Ninja but it's Metal Man and and here's how you fight Metal Man and I won't need an E-Tank like Skip does to beat Metal Man so because Metal Man is pretty easy so I think in this part the conveyor belt doesn't change direction And that's it. You gotta put the pedal to the metal. And that's the end of Metal Man. For those of you who remember, I did do a review with Skip Rogers on Mega Man 2 with low-budget reviews. Shameless plug. Hurry. Write the password down. Oh, too late. You are not ready. All right. Next. Woodman. The ECW. Freaking wrapping it. Watch out, bugs. Quit bugging me. Trying try to destroy these Castlevania bats. Jeez. That was failed. Let's move on. Ah, rabbit. Whoa, there's Blue's Clue again. 
Rather, Gray's Clue, because you're on the Game Boy version now. There you go, finally die. Kim Angie down there, WPN. What does that stand for? WordPress Network? What the heck? Oh, weapon. Duh. Okay, got some Needleman enemies here for Mega Man 3. That's right, this game does have elements of Mega Man 3 in it. Because, hello, you can slide also. <laughs> See, I was thinking of Mega Man 2 for the NES, where you don't have to slide yet. Well, we can't let that slide. We got to destroy Dr. Wally in this game. I hate these Castlevania bats. These robot chickens. Well, they were easier to dodge in the NES game. Come on. Nice boss battle time against Woodman. And of course, use the metal weapon. I'm gonna keep what Skip says. And that's it. Look at Mega Man pointing at something. Go sick him, boy. Sick him, sick him. He's standing there. Doo. Oh, I got the leaf shield. Next, Airman. I noticed the word ready don't appear in this Mega Man game like it does on NES. Ah, these things. These, re these uh, reappearing. Uh, what's it called? These things. Evil... Ugly monster faces with horns that appear in the air. Dang, man. Just, oh, nice. Extra life. Is it just me or is it the timing of these horns are off? It's like hard to not get hit by any of them. Look at that. A little bit more difficult to dodge than in the NES version. You know, next time I do a Game Boy game, I'm going to try to use a Super Game Boy emulator if I can. Because, I mean, I, would, I really would like to see Air Man stage in color. Soundtrack in this stage isn't that bad. Now, let me get the metal weapon here to destroy these boomerang things. Yeah, oh, dang it. Stupid chicken or bird chicken. The freaking Angry Birds now for Game Boy. was going to say, oh yeah, about boomerangs. Well, it goes around, comes around, so these enemies, they're doing a lot of damage to me. I'm going to do a lot of damage to them. Right there, I thought that was Airman when I was a kid. When I was playing Mega Man 2, I thought Airman came out for a second. Just to fight you real quick before you meet him for the final showdown, his chambers. No, it's just, a, I don't know, maybe Airman's bastard child. Oh, dang it. Come back here. There we go. Throwing lightning at me. Will lightning strike twice in this game? You gotta be lightning quick to be quick, man. Who's not in this game? Huh? Ah, I get the metal weapon. I wonder if the metal blade is just as broken and awesome in this game as it is in the NES version. Well, there's another one of those ugly faces with horns, but they're up there, so it can't damage me. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, here we go. We are already at Airman. 
Don't find me, Airman. I'm your biggest fan. Leaf Shield. Definitely does a lot of damage to Airman. One more hit and he's gone. Come on. There we go. Look, boy. We got Air Shooter and Brush Jet. Yay. Let's rush out of here and go to the next level. Alright, now we take on Clash Man, not Crash Man, Clash Man. Shut your Clash of the Titans looking, WCW Clash of the Champions having. Alright. Yeah, Crash Man stage was very hard to me on the NES version at first. Ah, uh, these floating pipe people. I mean, I remember these in the original version and. If you pick the normal difficulty, one shot to the face kills him, but on, on uh, difficult, when you shoot them, they fall apart like that, come after you, then come back together one more time, then you shoot them again, they're done. Yeah, I better utilize, utilize my leaf shield here. Wait a second, listen to this. That kind of sounded like a rendition of... Airman stage from from the NES version, but anyway, these floating square-headed people. Man, it's hard to dodge. Oh, we should go down here. No oh, energy. Yes, I, I slid. I thought that pipe up there—that's a background design or. No, the things where you ride the little platforms. All right, I got to get the E-Tank. Come on. No, you stupid mutt. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah. Slide. Mega Man 8. So slide, jump, jump, slide, slide, slide. Uh, Alfred here's talking around. Freaking birds. Yes, ECW. No, idiot, go up there on the platform. Oh, look at, oh, ha. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Okay, the egg don't hit me, but the bird does, because I jump into it. I bet that bird is angry. Come on, kill it. That thing's an idiot anyway, just shoots up. <laughs> Here we go with the boss battle. Wait, Clash Man. And his weakness is the air tornadoes. Come on now. No, no. Oh, come on. Oh, it won't, it won't let me shoot the last one because I got one notch of Airman's weapon left. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was close. That was down to the wire. Flash bomb and rush coil. Alright, here we go. Skull Castle. Oh, yep. 
It is Skull Castle. This time in the woods, I guess. Huh. Wait, how... Oh, I was trying to go forward and... Okay, this is the CPU doing this right here, not me. There's Dr. Wowie. What do you think? Get him! Run after him! Moron! Oh, oh, it's a trap. Oh, I gotta fight the robot masters. No. Whoa! Whoa, wait a minute. I'm in Needle Man stage here for Mega Man 3. That's pretty cool. So I guess I'm gonna have to go through stages just like you did in Mega Man 3 after you beat the eight robot masters. You gotta fight, I guess, two more in each of these four stages. Or maybe it's different in the Game Boy version. But all right, so this is Needle Man stage for Mega Man 3. All right, it's pretty cool. Dang, freaking porcupines. I gotta get the energy ball. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, I got to use a rush jet right there to get through that. Oh, ouch. Hardy dodged the Me Tools bullets. Alright, I gotta get the E tank. Man, this game, forget Mega Man 3 and 5. This, ow! This will give you a lot of power ups. The Star Soldier thinks this game is easy. I mean, uh, Mega Man 5 is easy. This, this, this game is actually pretty freaking easy. I haven't got game over yet. I got real far in this long time no play so far. needles over here. I need to hurry up and get past this level. Whoa. Man, this level needs a random drug test. Hey, it's that guy from Mega Man 3. Reminds me of Hercules, the wrestler. He would uh, swing a chain above his head before he wrestled. Let me rush out of here. Oh, no, not this thing. Oh, jeez. This thing from Mega Man 5, or no, a 3, whatever. Now here we go with the boss battle with... Needle Man. Duh. I forgot who I was fighting here. <laughs> Needle Man, all right. What works on Needle Man? I forgot what worked on him in the NES version of uh, Mega Man. Yeah, Mega Man 3. Air tornadoes, all right. That looks like that's what we're gonna have to go with here. Come on, nice. Uh, the air tornadoes pwned him. Me and Needle Man had to clear the air right there. I'll have to air out all the details. Okay, that's enough. Man, after that hard fought battle, I gotta get some fresh air. Fail. I should have used that those puns during the Airman battle. But anyway, I got Needle Cannon. Shooting all those needles at me, I might want to get checked out. Alright, here we go. Second stage. This is a oh, Magnet Man stage. Yeah, I somehow always gravitate back to this level. I did a Mega Man 3 Let's Play. And I did a low budget review, and then Mega Man 3 No Death Challenge. Now I'm doing this version of Mega Man 3. So, man, I play a lot of Mega Man games over the years on YouTube. Not to mention the Tribute Tricks Gemini S2K show back in 20, uh, 20, uh, 2007. Uh, get the E-Barrel. Come on, E-Barrel. I know it's not E-Barrel. E-Tank, whatever you want to call it. Skip got to be calling it freaking E-Barrel. Oh, uh, no, not the... The uh, freaking disappearing and reappearing blocks. Oh, man. And there's the giant... Uh, whatever the heck that thing is from the NES version.
Yeah, this music's definitely, I think, somewhat of a little bit of a rendition of uh, the NES track, but definitely not as good. All right. Now, of course, this thing is a little popcorn popper thing. Oh, come on. Watch me mess this up. Come on. Oh, ah, see? Move out the way, man. What are you trying to do? Kill me? I hate these stupid enemies from Spartman stage. Ah. This ain't any ass. Stop respawning. Jeez, really? All right, stay, stay power. Jeez, no, no, not again. Fly up. There you go. There you go. Dang it, that jumble audio sounds like the soundtrack in, uh, what was that game called uh, with Keanu Reeves in it? Based off the movie Dracula for NES. Graham Stoker's Dracula for NES. 8-bit eight, eight jumbled mess. Whoa, almost died right there. Come on. I wonder why the bricks look... Oh, oh, I thought that was a pit right there. Um, these reappearing bricks, they look smaller than they do in the NES versions, but whatever. At least that part's not as hard as that part in Heat Man and Mega Man 2 for NES. Hurry, hurt. Nice. All right, boss time. Magnet Man. He has a lot of pull in this game. He's an attractive man. Yes. The metal weapon. Ah. I mean, what else, right? And it's harder to dodge him on here than he is on NES. And that boss battle music's terrible. Alright. Now I'm getting energy refill. Who's next? What stage is this? I don't remember this in Mega Man. Oh, Hard Man stage. Oh, this is going to be hard. Well, not really. There was a trick in Mega Man 3 where it took two players to do it. You can fall in the pit. If you jump out on time, you become invincible. And you couldn't do that in Hard Man stage because there were no pits on the NES version. Don't remember on here. Ah, oh, come on, I shot the bee. Those freaking claws right there, they're a lot quicker on NES. I can, wait. Wait, how, well, how do you get out of here then? Weird. Oh, wait, there's a ladder up here. Moron, pay attention.
Ah, oh, these freaking monkeys from Woodman Stage. Oh, jeez, they're easier to dodge on NES. I mean, this game is somewhat easier than the NES versions, but there's some elements of it, some parts of it that's more challenging. Nice. Like right here. Ah, oh, see? An NES version here fell down the ladder out there, down the pit. But no, not on here. Ah, oh, these construction workers now. Trying to bulldoze me. Whoa. Hurry, hurry. Aha! Fail. Man, I'm at the, bo at the boss already. All right, let's get ready to fight hard, man. I think a Raven or someone called him Old Fashioned Oven Man. I forgot. Ah, man. I'm not doing it as good as I did on NES. Jeez, man. Come on, Ronnie. Come on. He shouldn't be that hard. About to run out of. Yeah, I did run out of uh, magnet missile, so forget that. Use a pea shooter. I better be on the top of my game here. Let's watch all these baseball stadium lights. Never understood that in Top Man stage, but anyway. Oh, shoot. Ah, fail. What? Get it right this time and use the rush marine. I go, you can go through the bricks? What? Or the blocks, whatever they're called. Alright, that was easy. Another extra life. Man, I'm telling you. Just like Big Man 3 and 5, you get a lot of power ups. Oh, Bobcat bounce. Such a Garfield looking. Another extra life. Look at that, man. I mean, I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but. Oh, there you go again. <laughs> nice. I'm about to have seven extra lives. I assume nine is the maximum. Just like in every other Mega Man game. This guy thinks he's on top of the world, but not anymore. It's a cat again. Of course, it's like a typical Mega Man game. You fight the mid-boss, if you can call it that, two times. I know I can skip the battle, but that would be fun. Ah, yes, another E-Tank. Jump up there, idiot. Still wondering how they got those trees or leaves or whatever they are inside the glass. I know it'll kind of look, look like rocks this time because of the Game Boy graphics, but if you remember the NES version of Mega Man 3, Top Man. Ah, that was stupid. I thought I was going to move back up. That was a dumb move. Anyway, I was talking about the glass, the whole glass area you see around the stage right there. The NES version is like trees or something. Pretty cool design, but it's kind of weird, but. Oh well, freaking cool. Before I played this game, I was reading a strategy guide. It had no pictures in it. 
and it said one of the enemy's names was Top Man. I go, Top? What kind of a robot master is that? Top Man. And Top Man ended up becoming one of the dumbest robot masters in Mega Man history. Especially with his freaking ballerina spin. And Shadow Man has to be so embarrassed. I think that was the weapon you used to beat Shadow Man real easily. As well as the Dr. Wally final battle in Mega Man 3. It's hard knuckle. Yeah, just knock him out. Look at this. It's stupid. I mean, I, I, I get him throwing tops. That's not such a bad move. But when you beat him, you get the top spin. No, you don't throw tops as a weapon. You spin around like he does. And that's stupid. That's probably why Infunime or whatever his name was that invented the Mega Man series and Mighty Number no. 9. I think he said in an interview that Mega Man 3 was the worst in the series. He's probably thinking of Top Man being so stupid. He was embarrassed by that. Um, alright, so... Whoa! Ah, oh, Proto Man! Whoa, what the... What the heck? Okay, sir, you're fighting Proto Man here, and... Okay, you're using a jackhammer here. What a jackass. So it's pretty much like the same pattern, same kind of battle like in the NES version of Mega Man 3. I don't remember if I ever got this far when I played this when I was a teenager. I probably have. I don't know. It's been so long. There we go. All right. That's the end of Proto Man for now. Well, I get Proto Man's weapon? You got... Quint item Sakugarni. What? What the heck is that? I don't remember that at all. Anyway. Oh, Dr. Wally's escaping. We must stop him. Whoa, he's got another castle on the moon? Man, this game is out of this world. Alright, to the moon. Whoa, that's a cool intro. Here we go, Skull Castle again. The heck is that in the background? Pork chops? Cartoon pork chops? I assume that's the moon in the background. The first scene, I forgot where I was. Ah! Well, I'm in a spot. This is where I'm at. I forgot I'm in outer space on the moon, and I was like, what the heck is that in the background? A big block of cheese. No, oh, that was cheesy. I don't fail this time. There you go. Oh, man. Ah, my timing was off. Stupid. No, those aren't cartoon pork chops. They're like whoopee cushions back there. What the heck? Are those clocks on the... As part of the design of the stage? Clocks? That means it's time for me to beat this game. Ah, oh, dang it. There's an E-Tank over there. Oh, I can't get any more maxed out. I guess I need more of a. Um, I think it was MG. Oh, a magnet, magnet missile. Ah, how's, how was I supposed to dodge that? Oh, whoa! Almost got shot by that bullet. What? Hey, you hit me. Come on. Seriously, die. Jeez. Ah. Oh, cool. At least didn't fall down the ladder. Marine time. Oh, I can't 
fifty there to get that. Right. Could go up there and get it. Right here. Yeah. Forget it. I'm gonna go ahead and get through this level. Ah, fall down the ladder, man. Man, they're more challenging to deal with than this version. They threw me off. They threw a monkey wrench at me and messed me up. All right, let's time this right. <laughs> That's it? Good. I don't know. The metal dropping things from Metal Man stage is back. Ah, Air Man character's back. Watch out. Oh man. <sighs> Come on, watch out. There you go. Not use the metal weapon to get to cut through these things. The boomerang pits and whatever they are. Alright, boss battle time. Who is it? Is it Dr. Wally himself? Yes it is. Here we go. Let me guess. It's probably gonna be a three part battle. I have no clue what weapon to use against Dr. Wowie here, so let me see if I can figure it out. Oh, I guess I gotta shoot at Dr. Wally himself. Is his eyes closed or I can't even tell? Okay, well I know the pea shooter works, but not that effectively. Oh, no, not the top spin, you idiot. Leaf shield, I doubt it, of course. Magnet missile. Jeez, if I can't... No, that didn't work. Oh, man, I gotta use my E-Tank. If I can even reach him with the metal blade. Yeah, I know, uh, yeah, yeah, forget it. I thought I'd take a risk there. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Forget it. I'll use a trusty OP shooter. Pwned right here. Uh oh. Here's part two of the battle. I know I, if I can actually, I don't know if I actually hitting Dr. Wally's face would probably work, but part of me just wants to go with the trusty pea shooter here because I know for sure that'd be effective for this game at least. Not as effective as the right weapon I'm supposed to use, but I really don't know what that is. Kind of in a hurry to beat this battle and get this game over with rather than trying to figure out which weapon to use. Whoa, whoa, watch out. Hopefully this is the third and final battle as I fight a Donald Wars reject here. Alright. Did Dr. Wally get a tan all of a sudden? What the heck? Oh. Man, I'm glad I got all those E-Tanks. I should be able to beat this here. Come on, aim higher. Okay, am I actually hitting the skull or Dr. Wally himself? That's kind of tricky looking there. Alright, I guess you gotta hit, hit him at the top of his head. There you go. Boom! That's the end of Dr. Wally, I hope. Wait a minute, I get, I'm getting a weapon from Dr. Wally now? Oh. Now I got chased after Dr. Wally again. Looks like I was about to acquire a weapon. You got Dr. Wally's machine. Or you acquire Skull Castle now. That'd be pretty cool. Cool, I'm using his own freaking missile against him. Oh, shoot, he crashed into the earth. Nice, like the uh, mushroom cloud, or skull cloud, rather. Oh, uh, yes. All right, that is the end. Have soup. What? All right, there you go. That's the end of 
Mega Man 2 for Game Boy. Wow, I beat it my first try here. Should be. Or not my first try, but you know, my first. But without getting the game over. What? Why not? Alright, long, another long time no play where I've beaten the game. I think the only other game I probably did that with was Kung Fu for the NES last summer. KTK Monkey. What? Man, these characters got some weird names in this game. Me Tool. Me Tall. What the heck? They shift some of the Game Boy version. They call them Me Talls. That's stupid. Man, weird names. I'm just call them a fat top spinner. Whatever the heck he's called. Okay, this reminds me of the how they named the enemies in the original Zelda. Weird names. Tech Tech Kai Tite and all these other weird names. Magflies. Call them. Well, that makes sense. He flies around. He's a magnet. Jerry Springer. G step for J. Paterchi. What? New Shot Man. Get out of here. Yambo. How about Dragonfly? I know the Trump is more creative with the name stuff. This, uh, the obvious, but still. Harry Carey? How da, how, how, howdy, how, bye. Telly, Telly Tubby, Telly Tubby. Pee Pee, what? Shot man, get out of here, man, you suck. Can't even aim right, even though he's hit me a few times. Flyboy, Flyboy Rocko Rock, rest in peace. Springer, Springer Jr. Oh, get back to Cloud Man stage. This is the wrong game. Hero Bot. Jeez. That mole. Get out of here. Robert. That's actually pretty good. Who framed Roger Robert? Cook. <laughs> what? Baton. Go back to Castlevania. Who's next? Put Putty Goblin. Wait. Go back to Ghosts and Goblins. Another Capcom game. Squirm. Squirm. Journey to the center of the earth. Matasaburo. What? I give up. Goro, it said Goro is the half, second half of his name. That's a lawsuit. Clash Man. So I'm gonna show all the robot masters here. Doctor Ninja. Woodman as Mega Man continues to float upward in outer space. Airman. That's what Goldsboro is now. He's an airman. Congratulations. Get out of here, you suck. Yep, ballerina spin your ass out of here. Magnet Man, very attractive robot master. A needle man, freaking drug addict. Proto. Oh, what? Quint! Who's Quint? I thought that was Proto Man. I don't remember no. Robot master name, or a robot character named Quint in the Mega Man games? Man, they already changed a lot of stuff up in the Game Boy versions, I guess. Jeez. Okay, is that the end, or is Mega Man going to continue to descend up to heaven? Did he die? Oh, thank you. Finally. All right. So that's the end of... Mega Man 2 for the Game Boy. It's an okay game, but it's too easy. Um, and obviously the soundtrack is not as good as the NES version. And I mean, it's an okay game to play if you got to travel 
and when you were a kid and you got to play some games. It's nice to have with you to play. Um, it's cool that they added elements of Mega Man 3 in there. You can slide and use Rush, fight some enemies from Mega Man 3 for the NES. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, um, that's all I got to say. And it was it was, was kind of nice to play this game again, but not as great as... I'm re- I mean, I remember it being okay back then, so I guess my memory does serve me right. It was decent. I give it a 6 out of 10. It was decent to play back then. It was decent to play now. So, about read, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember if I beat it. I, I think I beat the original Mega Man for Game Boy back then. I don't know about Mega Man 2, which is why I don't remember Quint. What? Qu- get your Quint Eastwood looking? I don't know. Anyway, that is the end of Long Time No Play Mega Man 2. I will see you guys later. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.